Culture Shift are pleased to present a series of Career Insight Conversations based on our Creative Cafe Careers programme. The employer encounters showcase a creative professional talking to young people about their industry and how they use words and other skills in their world of work. Today we're talking to Siobhan Harkin. So my name is Siobhan and uh, I work uh, as a publishing consultant to the film and television industry. So over the course of many years, I've worked for lots of uh, very big and very famous film and TV companies. What is it that's something that is very specific to your job? Being responsible for making sure that when a big film like Minions or Jurassic World is coming out, that we have books and magazines and trading cards and sticker albums available all over the world. I'm responsible for finding those partners, um, working with them, negotiating uh, a business deal with them to produce the, the books, the magazines, the stickers. What sort of uh, got, you, got you into that profession? I had, um, I suppose, quite a vague idea that I wanted to do something in the media. That was my passion. That's what I was really interested in. I realised that uh, one way into uh, the, the kind of media profession at that time was to be able to work as a temp, looked out for kind of opportunities. And one day there was an opportunity to join the publishing team. So I took that opportunity and just uh, my career kind of grew from there. So what is a creative manifesto? So it is basically uh, a statement of belief. Uh, it's a way of saying uh, who you are and what you're about. Writing a manifesto yourself can help you figure out what you're all about. And it can also support you in your work and remind you why you should keep going when you get stuck, which is something that happens to everybody. What do you value? What do you believe in? How uh, can you express your voice? How do you want your work to make people feel? Start with those questions. I'm not exactly the biggest fan of how the world works. There is a lot of things that need to change and need to be reformed. My kind of goal in life is to affect positive change by creating this poetry and putting it out there, other people will relate to it and hopefully that will help them feel less alone. It sounds like you're, you're living your manifesto with, without actually having one. So yeah, it, it just sounds amazing what you're doing. I would want to live in a world that sort of more prioritises sort of like compassion and things instead of the negative and the cruel sort of things sort of gain traction and power. How, how can I be what I want to see out there? I've suggested a simple outline um, starting with I love, what do you love? Uh, I believe, what do you believe in, and I'm committed to. I, I love um, sort of creative uh, and, and unique ideas that sort of make people think and put sort of a spin on things. And I believe that in, in acting performance sort of world, um, that creating a piece that kind of highlights what's happening, but also shows what you can do and it, quite importantly, how you can sort of mentally go oh, go through with difficult times and difficult things yeah. and to live happier. Uh, and, and I'm committed to, to always doing the best I can with, with all my work and sort of pushing myself to the limit to create something that I think will be the best it can. I love words and language and poetry and how you can express yourself through that. And I believe that each small, small thing can make a difference and poetry can make a difference. And I'm committed to making change and doing the best I can for myself and for those directly around me.
I would just love to say thank you so much. I really hope that the Creative Manifesto can help you in some way as you go forward in life. I'm really going to sort of go away and have a look at, at doing that properly. This has actually been really helpful to me. And so thank you for coming and sharing this with us. Bye. Thank, thank you, you so much.